You probably know that a meteorite impact led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. But you might be wondering, where is the impact crater now? Well, here's an image of the entire region where the meteorite struck. Today, it's known as the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. This meteorite was enormous, with a diameter of about 10 to 15 kilometers. Upon colliding with Earth, it directly affected an area over 100 kilometers wide. The impact was so powerful that the meteorite shattered into numerous fragments. What were the consequences? Almost immediately, there were 100-meter-high tsunamis. However, despite its massive size, the meteorite was tiny compared to Earth. So how did it cause the complete extinction of the dinosaurs? The truth is, the dinosaurs didn't go extinct directly because of the meteorite. Instead, it was the aftermath of the impact that sealed their fate. The meteorite was merely a catalyst that accelerated their extinction. In fact, hundreds of thousands of years before the impact, there was a volcanic region in India known as the Deccan Traps, which had been erupting continuously for 800,000 years. Back then, Earth's crust was unstable, leading to frequent eruptions. As a result, the atmosphere was already heavily polluted with millions of tons of toxic gases. The dinosaurs were struggling to survive in this harsh environment long before the meteorite struck. And after the impact, things got even worse. The collision triggered more eruptions, releasing massive clouds of dust and volcanic ash that blocked sunlight for years. The earth froze and plants couldn't photosynthesize. This disruption at the base of the food chain led to its collapse, ultimately causing the extinction of the dinosaurs. Of course, dinosaurs couldn't evolve quickly enough to adapt to such sudden and drastic changes. Interestingly, scientists didn't fully understand why the dinosaurs went extinct until about 50 years ago. That's when they discovered the Chicxulub crater by accident. If you look at maps of sinkholes and Earth's gravity field in the Yucatan region, you'll see that these sinkholes align perfectly with the edge of the ancient impact site. Moreover, the gravitational pull in that area is slightly weaker than usual.